Hey everyone, today we're going to design cupcake castles. So you're going to want a large piece of paper and draw your design in pencil first. I'm going to use ultra fine sharpie so that you can see the marks on my paper. The first thing I'm going to design in the center of my paper is a large base of a cupcake holder with a door. Some licorice framing the door. Some windows and frosting. Once you've designed your cupcake, you can add some kind of sprinkles. I'm gonna do another cupcake on the side of the house. and a double layer cupcake with extra frosting over here. and a cherry on top. I'm going to design a giant ice cream cone in the front yard, a gumball machine tower. I'm going to do a peppermint candy sky bridge connecting my gumball tower and my double decker cupcake. I'm going to do a flying cupcake in the sky. I'm going to do a flying ice cream cone over here. Cupcake chimney! I'm going to do a couple candy canes in my front yard. peppermints on the side of my house. Gonna add a few lollipops behind my house. Giant one. Gonna add a donut in my front yard. It's missing a bite. Grass there. And very colorful candy stepping stones. Make sure you have a line going across your page. This is very important. This is called a horizon line. And this is what makes it look like your house isn't just floating in space. So it, we can clearly see where the ground ends and the sky begins. So make sure you have a line going across your page. I'm also going to add a few cotton candy clouds. And I'm going to add some gumdrops in my front yard. Okay. When you're done drawing your picture, you can go back and outline it with an ultra fine Sharpie. After you have finished outlining with Sharpie, go back and erase all of your pencil marks. Once you're done erasing your pencil marks, you can color in your picture using colored pencils, watercolored pencils, or markers. All right, I'm gonna do a quick lesson on how to draw a lollipop. So here's the ground. Here's the base, the stick of the lollipop. Do a circle like that and then a swirl. So over here, I'll show you how to color in a lollipop. You can usually do it in stripes. So this one, I'm alternating green stripes and I'm following that swirl all the way around. 
and alternate stripes. So I'm going to go back and fill this in with an alternate color now. This is a great project to practice blending colors. On this cotton candy cloud, I'm going to be blending a couple different shades of purple with blue. Using a darker purple at the bottom. And then I'm going to blend some blue up into the top. I'm going to do rainbow candy canes right here. I'm going to try slightly different colors on this one. Now I'm going to blend some purple and pink at my base. and color in my gumdrops. I'm going to use green watercolor to fill in the grass. So I'm taking the color from the palette and adding it to my watercolor tray. And then I'm watering it down with water to make the color lighter. If I take the color directly from the watercolor tray, it's gonna be a little darker than I want it to be. So that's why I'm doing this. Now I'm adding a very light pink and orange sunset in my background. Ta-da!